Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria. Ooh, okay, sorry. I get a little, I get a little easily distracted a lot. You guys, today there is a new product, of course. I mean, what else? I mean, like, why even turn on the camera? Because basically all we do in my world is talk about new things. You guys, Smashbox released these uh, Trio eyeshadow, what the hell are these even called? Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trios. That's what they're called. Um, they're cute in design, cute in concept. Um, to my understanding, the idea behind these is that basically you have an entire look or, you know, a quick, easy go-to look, great for travel kind of idea in one little trio. Again, not a quad. You know, you get three shadows. Um, so let's just kind of delve right into these. I did pick up three of them to go over with you guys um, because I wanted to have, you know, an idea of a couple across the board. Obviously, I'm not going to purchase all of them because that's expensive. Um, why would it be expensive, Paige, for three little trios? Well, they want $22 for a trio. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, so that's kind of what you're looking at. As far as product goes, it looks like they only give you a total um, that says it's 0.11 ounces total. Um, and again, to keep that in mind, a standard Urban Decay shadow is 0 0.05 ounces. So three standard Urban Decays would equal uh, 0.15. So this is less than that. Um, one shade is obviously quite a bit larger, the shade that they're assuming you would use the most of for whatever reason, and then the two over here. Um, so some of these were designed, based off of what I read on the website, some of their these trios were designed to... Um, to be a look all in one, to be like a great, just, you know, throw it on, you're done kind of concept. And some of them were designed with more of a fun factor, meaning like, okay, you know, this can, the, these three colors are going to help you punch up a look, not, not create a look from start to finish, but just have an existing, like, you know, a couple in the crease kind of thing. And then you can take this little trio and, and, you know, really vamp it up. Um, I didn't pick those up because for me, that's not so much my aesthetic. I picked up what I felt were three of the more wearable trios, uh, just because that's what I gravitate toward. I did go ahead and I swatched them on my hand. Um, and you guys know, like I've done a ton. I've, oh my God, if I could, I, I have reviewed so many Smashbox shadows in the past. Um, some are good, some are not so good. And I do feel like Smashbox is one of those brands that when they are, <laughs> This is gonna. This is gonna sound hateful. Um, when they are producing a cheaper product, meaning a cheaper price point for a consumer, um, you can. It reflects in the quality of the shadows. I have tried enough of their stuff across the board to. I can say that with a fair amount of confidence. Um, anything of theirs that I've tried that was like holiday collection or like, oh, here's a palette set, like the little trio, the the three piece set thing that I reviewed. That was atrocious. I hated it, and I made no bones about hating it. I am a very. You guys know, like. You come here because I'm open, I'm honest, and I will always tell you what I think, regardless of the repercussions. Um, there will be a lot of brands, I'm sure, in my life that won't want anything to do with me, and that's fine, as long as you guys know that you can always trust my word. Now, let's go ahead and let's talk about some colors. I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit, um, and then we're going to pick one of these. I'm going to throw it on my eyes, and we're just going to talk. Girl, my hair is like hello today. Oh my god. These brows, by the way, also, <laughs> we had a thing today. And by a thing, I mean like I just was going to shave them off and go go star style because I was, I was done with the brows. Okay, so over on this side of my arm, or my arm, okay, my hand, you can see our first little trio right here. This is Holy Crop. And you have a shimmer, a matte, and then another shimmer. Um, uh, this one is probably, side note, the one that I'm going to be wearing today. I love these colors, and I gravitate toward them a lot more. I'm going to also incorporate another palette. I'll get to that one in a second. Um, but this is the Holy Crop palette. On the other side over here, we have Snap Queen, which has, I would say, two two shimmers and a matte. It's hard because this guy right here is not showing up super well, but the matte and then these two shimmers, the deepest and the lightest, are shimmer. Um, you can definitely see a difference in the kind of shimmer we're talking about from this palette to this palette. I feel like this one looks a lot more lustrous and a lot more vibrant in both colors versus this one, but this is obviously more of a purpley toned. 
option. And then on this side, you guys, we actually picked up an all matte palette. Now, I grabbed this. This is Nude Pick in the shade Light. And I grabbed this because I liked this concept. And I've talked to you guys about this a lot lately. This, I love the concept of everyone wanting to be uh, a little bit more natural, a little bit more easy. Looks that are just a little bit more on the go, quick, easy, fun. And what I love about this is they actually broke this Nude Pick. They have a light and a medium or a light and a dark or something like that. Basically, uh, an, an option for a nude eye look for different skin tones, like a different range of skin tones. And I love that idea. Um, on me, though, this this is the bottom shade right here. Um, it actually is my skin tone, so if you can't see it, it's probably why, but it is right there. And then, obviously, a light brown and a dark brown. These are all matte shadows. Um, and now, as far as how they all swatched, they were all decently creamy. Um, they didn't have that same, like, a cheap, scratchy texture that I have experienced with other Smashbox shadows, so that's good. Um, but these also do carry a higher price point. These are not meant to be a good deal. These are not meant to be um, a special. They're just expensive little trios. So I can see that the quality on these does reflect that. Um, and, and I think, I think as I swatched through them, I, it was pretty consistent. I do feel like some of the matte shadows were a little creamier than others. Some of the shimmer shades were a little more creamier and a little more vibrant than others. But overall, it all felt pretty consistent, which was a huge happiness for me because I just figured from the start, I was like, these are gonna suck. And then I swatched them and I was like, okay, not bad, Paige, maybe we should hold our judgments till the end. So obviously I realized that if you were to purchase these, you would only purchase one and obviously for a purpose. Um, I want to get a feel for them a little bit better than that. So I will be going in. I'm going to start off. I've already primed and set my lid. I'm going to start by working this light brown from the Nude Pick set into my eyes. And once I've worked that into the crease, then we're going to drift over into and stay in the Holy Crop palette. Um, just because I, again, I really enjoy these colors and I think that this was of the three this one was the most vibrant Shh, I am very busy right now oh people are so rude it's like don't they see my camera from wherever they are my like, god mm. did I ask for your opinion no I did not okay my other issue with these is that there's no mirror like I keep wanting to do this and like this to me if you're gonna say oh I've got this all-inclusive set oh yay yippee I oh and awesome and great and then all of a sudden like there's no mirror like if this is supposed to be an all-inclusive there should be a mirror here, especially for $22. There should really be a mirror here. Um, just my opinion, but like my strong opinion. And I think too, by the way, on the website, did I see that they said something about how this is like a new, um, they'd released something similar to this already and this was improved? New formula, new product, lower price. Yes, and it does. Oh, so I'm not crazy. Okay, I legit thought that I like dreamed this up. There's like a... It's, okay, I don't know how well that's going to pick up on camera, but it's like this is the old one and then this is the new version. So they're trying to be like, oh, it's so much better and like new formula, new product and lower price. I don't know, but I don't understand how they can say, oh, wow, the old one was $28. Okay, I understand why they revamped it because it probably didn't sell very well. $28. What is it with people? I still think $22 is ridiculous, but okay. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and, you know grab this and put it down and then grab a mirror because apparently we don't get a mirror for $22. Do I just expect too much for my money? Do I just expect too much from the beauty community as a whole? Oi. So that is how that first lighter brown shade layered up. Um, my first issue with these, you guys, there is a lot of kick in pan. And I feel like for the amount of kick in pan, it didn't pay off a lot. Normally, um, I feel like it, when there's kick in pan, it's either I get either really good blendability or pretty good pigment. Um, and I feel like it blended okay. It did diffuse very nicely into my upper crease, but it definitely did skip and grab right in this area right here. Um, but you know, that happens sometimes. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate on them yet. Um, let's just jump into the next one. 
Okay, so now that we're in the Holy Crap palette, as I like read the back of it upside down, I look cross-eyed. Um, so I'm trying to figure out, I definitely want to incorporate all three of these, and I think I'm just going to do it super basic. We're going to keep the darkest guy on the outside, this guy near the middle, this guy going from the inside out. Um, this one I feel like offers a lot more versatility than a lot of the other palettes or the little trios um, from Smashbox. I feel like it offers more because it gives you depth. It gives you two good shimmers. You can do an all over like a daytime look. It would be real easy to run back to your hotel room real quick like pop on this one and a little bit more of this one you could turn it day to night nice and easy and I feel like you know I feel like this one just offers a little bit more um I think I'm actually gonna do this a little backwards how do I want to do this I think I want to start with yes I want to start with this one uh the darker this medium shade right here and kind of do one of these and then I want to add the light and then I want to see where those fade and then from there I'm gonna add this I'm definitely gonna do this I'm gonna speed it up go to music that way you know it takes a little bit of time off the video um but you guys still get to see it. I've been trying to find, you guys let me know in the comments, I've been trying to find like a good medium between cutting out chunks of like the eyeshadow looks or whatever, but also making sure that those of you that like to see them perform, you still get to watch them and how they apply. Um, I feel like that's important and if it's and if it's important to, you know, that many of you, which it seemed to be, I want to make sure that I incorporate it and that, you know, you guys get to see it. Holy, okay, literally, <laughs> I literally touched my finger. That's all you guys got. Already a ton of fallout. Just right onto my face. It's going to be one of those. You're going to do me like that, Smashbox? Let's just tap my finger off then. Alright, listen. Would you prefer a brush? Because seriously. Like, I'm not dig. I'm not. I'm not happy right now. I'm just, I'm just not happy, guys. And if I'm not happy. Ain't nobody happy today. Not today, Shadow. Not today. Well, guys, um, so I have some thoughts. Let me go ahead. Um, I'm, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by all my numerous facial expressions. Um, I'm a little bit frustrated. Um, I'm going to run a tiny bit of something on my lower lash line. I'm going to put on mascara. I'm going to put on, uh, what comes after? Oh, eyeliner. Um, and I will come back on here. I will give you my final thoughts. Um, and I will also calm down. So just give me like one second to go do all of that. Thanks. Thanks. All right, so I went ahead, obviously, I finished up my face a little bit. You know how when you're having one of those days where, like, one aspect, like, say for me, my eyes today didn't go so well, but then, like, after that, it is a chain reaction of, like, the crappiest. Like, you guys, when I tell you that my lipstick struggle just took me 20 minutes, I'm not kidding. Like, I was running totally on time, had plenty of time this morning, and then I tried to put on my lipstick. Sweet baby Jesus, it went everywhere. I'm not kidding you when I tell you that my lips were a good quarter inch thicker. Like, it was awful. Surprise! Okay, so back to what I was saying about having a horrible morning. Um, I just heard footsteps coming down the hallway. And um, my mom just brought me a peanut butter pancake with Reese's peanut butter cups in it. And said, I thought you could use this this morning. 
Now she had no idea that I was having a really bad day and that my makeup just went all to hell. And she uh, just brought me this. Sometimes there is such thing as mother's intuition. All right, put the food down. Um, okay, so anyways, uh, oh, and if you're curious, I put on the, uh, the Fenty, the Stunna, uncensored lip paint, whatever. Um, this is the one that Rihanna came out with. I was that person that was like the first person on Sephora that purchased this lipstick. And then it came into my den of horrors back here. And I literally just found it. So I'm super excited to try it. I am obsessed with this red. It's super comfortable and it is a pigmented as hell. Like this much lipstick will last you at least three years. I'm ugh. like, it just goes and there's so much pigment and color and gorgeous. And it reminds me a lot of the Jeffree Star formula, how his kind of like glides on watery a little bit or like has a lot of moisture to it, but then dries down comfortably. Hers is definitely very comfortable so far, which is awesome. And if you're like, girl, why do your lips look so funny? Okay, we're not even going to talk about it. Like I already told you, like it was a thing. They were huge. They've been little. They've been big. They've been small. There's so much concealer around my mouth. I went through like three tubes of shape tape. It's been a different, it's been a different kind of day. Now, um, I have some thoughts on these little trios. I keep wanting to call them eyeshadow quads. Oh God. Um, my, my main issue with these aside from price, which we know my thoughts, um, I did not love, and you guys saw it as I was putting it on, there was no pigment coming off of the colors. Like I could get nowhere with this beautiful inner shimmer lid right here. Like that should have been so vibrant and so so beautiful did not translate to the lid. Same with this other one up here. Didn't translate to the lid. Um, I think that the more consistent, like, fluid part of these is the matte shadows. The matte shadows in these do appear to be pretty good. They're still not my favorite. I found them to be a little patchy and a little, like, ee -ee. you know, I'm just, I wasn't a huge, huge fan. They were still a little bit, not chunky. I just didn't like the texture of all of them. Um, but as far as how they applied to the eye, those applied much, much, much better than the shimmers. The shimmers, I had to wipe off, I don't know, like a cup and a half of fallout. That was cool. Um, and I just, I didn't, I did not love them. Um, I think that these, I, guys, these do not get my stamp. I don't love them. I love the concept. I love the ease. I love, well, what's supposed to be the ease. But they did not apply. I'm not a huge fan of how my eyes turned out. Like, I just, I don't know. I mean, I think that it ended up looking okay. But I think that, A, it's a look that... I could have gotten with a palette that cost basically the same amount as these and I think that there are if you're going for a travel friendly option like a smaller palette kind of option there are so many other either a more affordable palettes or b palettes that are just the same size that actually do what they're supposed to do there is a demon hair on my nose right here and it's like itching like nobody's business um but i love the concept and i love the idea and i love where they were coming at with these i just don't think that it was executed in the quality and maybe that's just smashbox shadows like maybe i need to quit thinking that there's something that they're not i can't help but think that you know they are a really well-known brand smashbox you've got to have something that i like well i take that back they did have one eyeshadow the big square one i didn't hate that but other than that I have had no luck with this brand with their shadows other other things I've had luck with but just when it comes to shadows maybe them and I we just differ on like what quality is I don't know just me um but you guys for 22 bucks I don't recommend them I'm curious to know your thoughts if you picked one up what did you think did you have the same experience I did um these just they are not my cup of tea so let me know what you guys think down in the comments and don't forget to check that description box for my social media handles because girl if you're not finding me on socials you're not finding me and that's so sad are you creeping outside my door again? Girl, creeping outside my door trying to take my plate when I haven't even eaten my whole pancake? Girl, you better watch yourself for I snatch that plate without your face. Okay, so you guys, don't forget, again, description box, social media handles, find me. And again, I'm begging somebody to explain how Snapchat score works because I still can't figure it out. Bro, I always got real intense real quick this morning and I think they're like uneven, like the thickness is off. I don't know. It's just been one of those days, guys. Yesterday, my makeup looked so good. So like today I brought the expectation down to like barely livable and we're just gonna, we're gonna roll with that. Um, you guys, I hope you have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And um, I will see you in the next video. And I really wish this had worked out better. I was really excited. All right, you guys. Take care. Bye. Do, 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 do. Whoosh. No. Don't do it. Go get a palette instead.